think it's important for men to know about erectile dysfunction that number one, they're not alone. It's exceedingly common. About 40% of men after the age of 40 will have some form of erectile dysfunction. And number two, that it's highly treatable. So finding the cause of the erectile dysfunction can be done through just discussions with the patient, some formal testing. Um, and once we have a potential etiology or cause of the erectile dysfunction, I'm able to better tailor treatments to that patient specifically. And that truly ends up in resulting in the best outcomes for the patient and their satisfaction rates. Treatment options for erectile dysfunction span a gamut of things. First and foremost, we wanna think about lifestyle changes and some conservative things that we can do to both help protect erectile function and help recover erectile function. And that's gonna be largely based on things that are healthy for your body, especially healthy for your heart. Because if you have things that are healthy for the heart, you will have things that are healthy for the penis as they're both vascular organs. So thinking about diet, exercise, limiting salt and sugar in the diet, avoiding toxins such as smoking can be really effective ways to help preserve erectile function or regain erectile function that's been lost. After that, there are multiple different typical treatment options that you would proceed with the doctor. So that would either be oral pills or medications that you could take um, as you need for sexual function. There's also something called a vacuum pump and that can be used as needed both for sexual function and I also have some patients that use it as a therapeutic to help regain penile length that has been lost secondary to erectile dysfunction. From the penile pump, there are other aspects that can be tailored to the patient. So in some of our studies, we may find that the patient has like a vascular dysfunction or arterial insufficiency specifically. An E-wave therapy or shockwave therapy to the penis could be highly effective for that patient in a very valid consideration. There are also things like injections. So a patient can be taught how to do an injection into the side of the penis that can help give erectile function where other treatments have not. And then the penile implant is another option that can be a long lasting solution for erectile dysfunction, particularly effective in men that have tried other options and just haven't been satisfied with their results. Penile implant is a device that is placed inside the body and it allows a man to have a spontaneous erection whenever he wants. So it's a fluid-based system. And when he is interested in engaging in intercourse, there is a pump that's within the scrotum. Everything's concealed within the body, so you can't tell uh, if a man has one of these devices, but he would activate through the pump, cause the erection, and then he would be able to engage in intercourse. I think the decision for a penile implant is very personal. And it's something that I really emphasize to my patients is that, you know, the erectile dysfunction journey is a very personal one and they have to find something that they feel comfortable with and confident with. And so the timing of a penile implant is different for every man and it may not be the appropriate thing for every man, but it can result in just incredible confidence and high satisfaction for both the patient and his partner. Some men like to wait until they've exhausted all of their treatments, and some men like to pursue it earlier.